So we're back again with now my second video of today and this is another one on NBA 2K and I'm just surprised with how many dubs 2K are taking right now. Because today for content, we got these Campus Legends packs which actually have a lot of Galaxy Opals in them, a lot of pink diamonds and it was great content. We also got a Galaxy Opal Carl Anthony Towns when he completed all. There's a new pink diamond on the Triple Threat online boards. And yesterday we got all these Spotlight Sim challenges and that's just within two days they've brought all that out. We also get a locker code here, may as well chuck this in. But the main thing that this is base around finally 2k have updated triple threat offline in a good way because in the past the updates that they did weren't insane and didn't really excite me but this time you guys can see we can get a free galaxy opal and this is 100 free because first of all the rewards for triple threat offline aren't bad at all like you don't really need to worry about contracts because you make enough mt to be able to buy contracts straight after if you win the game and personally at the start of the year when this first came out i did like 650 games in two weeks and i I've hardly played since but now I actually have a bit of motive to play it because I want to try and get that Dan Issel for you guys so I think I'm going to play until I get this diamond consumables pack so it's going to be 23 games and I'm just going to grind it out for you guys so as for your team what I recommend is that you have two centers that are really really tall so for my example I'm using Taco and Manute Bowl but you can use George Murasan and Sean Bradley they have two very easy ones that are extremely tall and then use a player that can shoot so in my case Ben Simmons that has Hall of Fame range extender now I don't know if I'm going to use Ben Simmons the whole time I do just want to try him out but also I might like substitute maybe put in Ray Allen or something like that maybe also T-Mac you never know but I want to try Ben and see how he goes and let's see the team we go against a galaxy opal all right not insane it's Kyrie. and the thing i love about these challenges is the fact that they're so easy and you can do them so quickly so then i just recommend that you guys flop and then just try and get the blocks with these players so there we go first things first we get one and then just go to try and go the snatch back sure if you don't get it then just go the pick and do it on the inside pull the three in their face it doesn't really matter if you miss because sometimes you'll get that board and then once again just try and let them come inside you can take that Kyrie, just let them score so they'll usually go under the screen and once they do that you just to pull the three and that's what gives you the ability to just keep on flopping and allow them to take inside shots because if they score twos you're going to score a three so just call the screen click into l3 to try and call it on the inside and then just pull the three that's all you got to do and we're going to pull down that board that's the reason why you get these tall centers sure they're not really going to score for you but if they just set big screens and then uh okay that was bad but we get another rebound obviously kick it back out for another three that one's in the defense is just so easy because we've got such height there and and I'm taking bad threes because I just need someone with a quicker release. Sure, that's a nice move. That, that was actually really nice. And the games are going to seem tight. But the thing is, you got to remember, you're pretty much going to score in every possession because it is really easy. There's the win. So here we go. Our first vault. Let's try and open it. And it's so rough. Like, we're probably going to get red a lot here. But... First one, yep. So yeah, I don't really recommend Ben Simmons just because he has a pretty slow release. So we want to go somewhere with a quick release. KD isn't bad, but I think I'll go T-Mac. So again, just flop, let them come in. I don't care if you pull that CP3, you're going to miss anyway. We're going to give it to T-Mac and you can just take your twos if you want to. So you may as well. Then you know what we do. Flop, wait for him to come in. You can pull that three CP3. I don't really mind. Take it. He's going to make it. But little does he know. Then we've got T-Mac. We can run inside, do the snatchback move, pull the three, and that's us every day and i tell you what quite possibly makes it the biggest gg ever is when your player gets takeover so right now we're just going to win this so quickly you ready for the next three let's just pull it in his face it doesn't matter flop flop with taco let him come inside you can take that every single day we're going to pull down the board give it to my t-mac take this three it's another bucket just like that flop flop you can take the three i don't really mind or take it inside that's fine by me you want to know why because t-mac's got takeover and the game is over let's get it and if you do it right each game should only take three minutes so it's actually really quick so our next vault can this one be better than the last one can it open up for our first time okay another red anyway so this squad was so much better so i recommend that you use two seven foot five or plus players and then one player that has hall of fame range extender and hall of fame quick draw that's pretty much all you need and then we're going to go in sure you might not have that player but you'll be able to get it if you play this a lot so the next team we're going against is a lot better than the last one mark eden i'm not scared of you at all though so i'm actually going to show you every single minute of this game just to show you guys exactly what to do in this situation because they go for so many floaters you can easily get that right there and we're going to miss that one actually but sometimes that happens and literally if you take open shots the whole time you're only going to miss probably one or two shots so it's really not too bad 
The only issue sometimes is, is the passes from your seven footers isn't great, but that one there wasn't too bad at all. So he's going to inbound it again. And guess what we're going to do? Just flop straight away. And your gold player can take this shot every single time. Mark Eaton, we almost got the block, but again, it's only a two and we're going to run down and take a three pretty much every single time. That wasn't great there. Let's kick it back. And then because the snatchback didn't work, we're going to call the screen, take a deep three. That's all you got to do. I highly recommend that you guys use a player like T-Mac. If you don't have a player like T-Mac, try and grind out the um, solo challenges, the spotlight sim, and maybe get like Duncan Robinson or something like that. Just someone that has Hall of Fame quick draw and Hall of Fame uh, range extender. That's pretty much the only two things that you need. Another three there. It's just so simple. And I want to show this whole thing to try and extend the video a little bit. Can't lie about that. But also to show you guys that I'm not faking anything here and that it literally only takes three minutes. So go up there. Taco just says, get that out of here. And once again, on the defensive end, they only have nine seconds left and this is just a GG. You ready? We're just going to flop there. I don't care if you make that shot because once again, We've got T-Mac, we're gonna kick the ball to him. Even if you take it through the middle, just go to snatch back there, pull another three, and we missed that one. We actually don't get the rebound, which is kind of weird. You can take that three once again, and he's gonna miss. It doesn't matter how good of a three-point shooter they are, they're still gonna miss quite a bit. And T-Mac, if you can get his release, really doesn't miss, and after four threes, especially with T-Mac, you end up getting takeover. So then it's just the biggest GG, because we can make absolutely every single shot here. And that's another block. That's just with that length. Then we run it up. We pull the three. Another one. 15-7. And this is how quickly it can go. Because we're just flopping on defense and not actually playing. I'm actually not feeling too great. Feeling a little bit sick. But that's fine. Because we got another block. And let's give it to T-Mac. Go to the snatch back again. Pull another three. 18-7. You can see how quickly this is. You thought that me showing the whole game was going to be long? No. This is how long each game actually takes for me. And that's the reason why... I don't know how he made that. I'm happy to show this whole thing. So let's give it to T-Mac again. Can you guys guess what's going to happen? Just a fading three. Actually a bad release. It still goes in. And that was like three minutes. I'm feeling hot. I'm taking this hoodie off. So here we go. Another vault. Third one. Can we get lucky? It's about 33% chance of it opening. First one that opened. And we're going to get tokens. It's probably only one token. 10 tokens. That's actually a bit of a win. Next game up. And this is the last little bit of gameplay you're going to see from me just because there's not really much point of me showing you offline triple threat gameplay because it's really not that exciting. So let's just pull threes. That's all you got to do. What a block there. But also make sure that you learn how to icon switch to your rebounders because right here you can see I get the box out. Another block to taco. So it is actually a little bit difficult to do, but it's really not too hard. You'll get used to it and you can see that's how I get the boards all the time. Then just catch and shoot straight after buckets. Taco with another block. Oh my, this game would have been so much more fun for me to show you guys the whole thing. Because we are just killing him right now. And I'm like, what? Another board there. You know what Taco's going to get? Another assist. Just like that. I want to see how quickly this game can go. Because I feel like... This could be the quickest game I've ever had. I'm hoping for two minutes. If we make that, it actually might be. And all up, it took me two minutes to finish that game. Oh my. Yeah, that's probably the best game I've ever played of Triple Threat Offline, but you did it with those tips. Well, I did it with those tips. That's what I mean. So now once again, we've got another vault and let's just hope. Let's just hope that we see the green for it to open and nope, okay. So from now, now that I've played four games on camera, you're not gonna see a face cam every single time I open up the vault, but you will hear my reaction as I kinda wanna just listen to Lil Uzi right now, not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna grind out the rest of these 19 games off camera. So yeah, I'll see you every time we open up the vault. Next one up, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Next one up, okay, another red, cool. Next one, come on, please go green, green. Yes, sir, okay, what are we gonna get, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Okay, more tokens. Still not an L. It is an L because it's only one. Next one up. Can we go back to back? Nope. Okay. Next one. Let's. Oh my word. It's literally one in three. Next one up. Come on. Oh wow. Okay. We're really getting unlucky here. All right. Can we at least get lucky on this one? I feel lucky that we're gonna get the green. Oh my. We gotta get a green soon. I'm feeling this one for sure. Yes, sir. All right. Please don't be a token. It is tokens. Please don't be one. It is one. <laughs> Can we go back to back for the first time in this video on the vault? Let's get, okay, cool. Come on, come on, I feel so sad. We need another one right here, lad. Okay, well, that's fine. Next one, and what? I think we've opened it three times. Can we make that four? Okay, nope. We gotta get it on this one, I think. I think this is one 
that if the percentages are right, we got, okay, well, no. The next one up now, feeling good, and it's not good, cool. Here we go for our next one. We haven't seen green for a long time, and it's gonna continue that way. All right, let's go. This has to be it, has to be, I'm done. <laughs> All right, it's now time for the next one, and I feel like we have to get the green soon, and it has to open. There we go, don't be tokens. It is tokens. I'm done. Back to back for the first time, you reckon? Let's see how we go. And it's a no. Here we go for another time. And we've only got a couple games left and we're still getting red. So this is game number 23. And let's see what we open. It's green. Are we clutch? Getting something good? No, we're not because it's more tokens. How much fun? It's only one. But we do get our one diamond consumable pack. I'm just going to play two more games to make it 25 games that I've played. So let's do that. So anyway, you guys have seen a lot of vault openings. Not actual openings though. We're now with the face cam. I'm doing one more game after this one. After it actually opened. It actually opened. And we're going to get... <sighs> Bro. Okay, 10 tokens is still good, but we haven't got anything but tokens. So, I mean, there's not much else to say. I'm just gonna get into one more game. So we played a quarter of a hundred games and I think we opened it four or five times. Can we make it six though? Oh, we actually do, what? Okay, is it good? Wow. I tell you what 2K really need to do is just remove that one token because literally everything else there is good except for that. So yeah, 25 games. I think we opened it six times. I'll have a counter for you guys though anyway. But anyway, while we're here, I may as well open up this diamond consumable pack and see what we're able to get out of this. Hopefully something good. Let's flip the diamond and get... That's really good actually. <laughs> okay, big win for your boy. Also fun fact, you ready for this? I sold these two players. So yeah, I don't know. It is very tough to be able to get these players, but I have seen some people on Twitter able to get them. I think I'll play a lot more of these than I have been recently, just because they finally updated it to something good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. We've been on the grind to try and bring out these videos for you guys ASAP. So I hope you've enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe if you new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.